Hi all, it's Travel with Jason. F. Well, a couple of weeks ago I did a video of Mason shots. And I realised that I a little bit messed up. So I'm going to redo it today. So I'm going to go around the shops. And I'm also going to, sh because it's a bit hard to show the shops and not show the restaurants at the same time. So it will be the shops and restaurants that we have got in Maidstone. We are. So, I'm about to leave now. As you can see, I've got my winter coat on, because it is not that nice. I mean, I, but then it is September, near the end of September, so don't expect it. It's a bit windy. Hope you can hear me. If not, I'll probably try and voice over. And let's see what we got in Maidstone. But I, I can tell you that we have... Got quite a lot of restaurants, shops, charity shops. Uh, it's quite, <clears throat> if you want to come to Maidstone and you've never been to Maidstone before and you don't know what we've got, then this will help you out a little bit because, well, it is full. Uh, there's not a lot of empty shops at all in Maidstone. There is some, like everywhere else has got, but we are pretty full. No, uh, and we got a wide range. The only thing we ain't got a lot of is antique shops. We've only got one, and I uh, will be doing a refill of their shop because I've been invited. So uh, I will be doing a in-depth refill of their shop of trash and treasure. So uh, I'm about to go, head into town, and I will show ya. I mean, like I said on the previous video, Maidstone has got some good transport links. You can get here by motorway. And if you don't want to drive, like, well, I can't, and I haven't got a license, but I've got a fictional, but don't count. And you can get the train here or the bus here, but I would recommend train. And we've got, like I said, three train stations, Mason East, Mason West, and Mason Barracks. And obviously, Mason Barracks, there used to be an army base nearby, it, and that's why that train station is called Army Barracks. I mean, Mason Barracks. That's just a little bit of history for you. Uh, there is a little bit of, if you also want to come to Mason for a bit of history, sadly, there's not a lot that you can do. We have got a Mason Free Museum. And I've been in there, and I will actually try and go in there. It'll probably be one of them you got to book your tickets. And I will show you Mason Museum in another video. So uh, let's get going, and well, we'll see you on the journey. Au revoir for now. Bye. Well, we're getting near Maidstone West train station. The river's a little bit turned, so if this video may become a two-part, or I may have join it up on another day and see how much I can do the filming the day as, well, it's a little bit waning. Um, well, no. So anyway, down the bottom there is Lidl and Matlands. If you look on my, on look on your left, you see a glass building that is Lidl's Matlands, but Matlands has moved into Checkers Mall. Uh, and in a second, you will be able to see Maidstone West train station. And if you look on my right, you see the Maidstone West train station sign. And down that, down that passageway is the train station, but I will show you the train station. From the bridge. You see on on your left, a bit more better, Lidl's. But anyway, I'm gonna quickly show you over the bridge, then I'm crossing the road. That is Maidstone West train station. And uh, so we're going back over this way. Right here you've got a bike shop, one of two or three Maidstone. And the train station is just down that road there. And if you look on my right, you will see our first McDonald's in Maidstone. 
one of three and and that is the first restaurant as well on the same size it's a thai restaurant and i've eaten in there and it's not too bad and go up that road from there the cinema complex and three more restaurants is up that way so anyway we're going this way now so we're going to Hobbycraft, the range and tk max You can see the Thai restaurant a bit more clearer. Up that street, it's town starts, but we're going this way, where hobby crafting that is. And if you look there, we've got the first travel lodge. We've got Aston Living, and that's just by there is hobby craft. There we are, there's Aston Living. Right there, I'll show you a bit in a second. Oh, there's hobby craft, and you can see TK Max sign and there we are that's that's the living going over there we are about to see the other shops i have also noticed how busy the town is i actually thought it'd be quite quiet on a sunday that's what i thought i'd do the filming maybe people know more than i do some models here some models here some nice little range about the only place you can find models now in maidston And more metal, more models on the other side, as you can see, and paint. Right over there is the Mason West, I mean Mason East Railway Station. I will show you it here in a minute. And just by that building opposite is Mason Barracks. And now we've got a few stairs. A little fun history of Mason. That building used to be True Ball Bassett Suites, where they used to make all the suites in Maidstone. Well, for True Ball Bassett. Alright, crossing the river in a second, will be. And Maidstone East Railway Station is over there. And if you look over there, you will see House of Fraser and Feminine Walk. Or at some point we will be in there. And as you can see it a bit more better, that's Mason East Railway Station. <coughs> From one side down to Victoria, the other side to Ashford. And there we are. You see a bit more Mason East Railway Station. Not a lot. See. And that is the London side. Here we've got the first Weatherspoons pub and obviously a church above opposite. Cool side to him so you can't read the sign. Nice little pub and if you know Weatherspoons, you know it's reasonable prices for the low budgets. As you can see. See some of the prices. Go around there. Let me see some other bits. Now, in the top part of town, yeah, some people call it High Street, some people call it Wheat Street. I always call it High Street. But you got a Goku restaurant in there, you got Mamu's and Laundry, and up there is the one and only antique shop we got in Mainston. Then we've got another Thai restaurant there. We've got a Mexican over there. A KFC over there. Our second uh, McDonald's is over there. Now we've got one, one of the large charity shops here. Quite interesting. And we've got a new kebab shop opening up. There's going to be a slash restaurant. And obviously you've got KFC there. A little bit of a dining area around here now it is. So, you know, it's getting that way. Yeah, as you can see, McDonald's, Tesco's, CEX over there. Uh, this basically just a top part of the high street, I would say. It's nice, you know. That cafe was closed down over a year and a half ago. Want some furniture, you got it there. 
Burger King over that way and Savers. So you've got nice little lots of shops here. And you can see there's Burger King. And up this road here, you find a nice fish and chip shop. You will. Go up this road, you will find two massage parlours and two charity shops. And that is a good chip shop and there is two pubs up that way. But I'm not going up that way. And you've got Primark there, Panland over there, and some other bits and pieces all around here, as you can see. We have got Ann Summers. So if you want some uh, of what it stuff, it's you have a look in there. m and flower shop, post office over that way, and down this way is Friendly Walk. Yes. So it's not too bad, but you can't walk that way. You walk down there, you do. So, uh, and you can see both sides. And doors on that side, which I'll be getting some pouches for Christmas for my friends, people I know. O2 there. Nice lot of shops you can go and see. A bit more posh, well, a bit more posher ones, I call them. I do. Uh, yeah. But you, you find mainly clothing shops down there and some shoe shops, really. As you can see from this working at this video. Uh, we have got an apple here. Uh, HM fees here as well, which you will see shortly. Fat face and super dry, which you also will see in a minute. Here's fat face. I don't like their clothing, but other people do. Now they're super dry, and yes, I do like their clothing. I wear quite a lot of their stuff. Build the bears over that way. And HM3. As you see, build a bear there, but I'm not filming. Coffee shop over that way. And there's HM3. The one in the, well, second owned DVD shop you have apart from CX. It's that way. And down that way, we go in a minute. Away from Market Family Walk, you'll find five guys. Well, I've just gone past. There we are. Some other restaurants, another Thai restaurant. That's three we got in Maidstone. And a couple of Italian restaurants as well, right here. And you find the Hazard Theatre on the right. And of course, we got Nano's. So if you're going up this way, you walk up the top and you'll be back at the High Street. Or Wheat Street, whatever you like to call it. Here you see the Magamamas. A couple of pubs. If you're going up, you'll find some more. And now you see W.H. Smith and the post office. And we're back down this way now. Go up on the right. And shots that way. Got works there, a couple of travel shops. Over that side, you see other shops. It's got game, mountain warehouse, what I believe is closing down. Some vape shops, obviously, bank, an old bank on the right, HSBC, and a shop which sells everything. So, we're going to go down Gables Hill now. We are. I see, now this is also called High Street. That's the entrance to Checkers, Costa, and a Starbucks over that side. And down that way, you see another Remus Burns, Natrush Bank, and some more other stuff. But we're going to go down Gables Hill now. Some, another charity shops that way. About three, I think. Well, was anyway. I think it's only two. No, it used to be four, but it's only three now. There's Wimpy. And some other bits and pieces. If you just keep looking, you will see what we got. 
jewelry shop that's only open Monday to Saturdays. Now, as you see, it's on that side, and jewelry shop on that side. A uh, not sure if it's a French restaurant or an English restaurant, totally. And I was here rubber dials. And you've got some hairdressers down there, and then down there you got the fish and chip shop, fish and chip shop Britannia. Now that is one of the really best fish and chip shops we've got in Mason. And I do do dining, so you can eat in if you want. So yeah. And as you can see, as I'm going to get near it, you can see what it's called. And there's another, actually there's four, still four, so we've got this big one down here, a charity shop. And then you got that one, and that's a really good fish and chip shop. Alright, now we're going in checkers. I would say Boots is there as well, that's quite big. Now we're going in there. Now we're inside checkers. Real clothes is on the, on the basement, as you can see. We've got that escalator. Here you will find another KFC and the third McDonald's on that side. Hanging Trev over there. And some more shops over this way. And you've got a shoe shop next. And most of anything. And another McDonald's that just opened up. New one. So there we are. And a a toy shop that only opens Monday to Saturday. There we are, there's Matlin's new store, and there's Attainment. Uh, Costa, wow, it's a coffee shop. Some more clothing shops around here. Now, the only really bakery and butchery we've got Probably like Mondays, Saturdays. Now, it should be like Mondays to Saturdays. I mean, Monday to Sundays. And we got obviously got Iceland's. And that's it for this floor. And see, we've got a big pan land there and tea tray shoes. And obviously, I'm going to go in pan land. I need some bits. So that's what I'm going to do. We're in the big boots here. We have got. Then if you look on both sides you see what we got really. Milkshake place and some other shops and go on. So you know, Hope Chef Samuels that way, another bakery and Cheppuccino's been here since Checkers has opened. I think it's 40 years I believe now. So it's quite good. As you can see, it's over there. Shops, some shops are shut on Sundays now. And, you know, mankind. And you can basically see what we got, really. So, uh, uh, and we got Pizza Hut down there as well. And there is Pizza Hut. And now a fake shop on that side. Fake shop seems to be the life at the moment, and masks now. Normal, I think. So there we are, and that's the ent entrance and exit. If you go down that way, you'll find old massage parlour and a couple more restaurants. But this way, you see the Starbucks on the right. Right then. Now yeah, well, I'm basically crossing over where I was. I see the weather is a little bit changed, so I've carried on managed filming. Fingers crossed, I might better do the whole thing in one. If you're wondering how I know where the massage parlors are, I use them all. <laughs> and they're all jigit. There we go, we are going down Bank Street now. We are. And then we'll walk up to the other part of the street. And if you look on over that way, there you see Weatherspoons, Mugton's Inn, or as it's probably the local name, Mugs. Uh, you see a couple more charity shops and another furniture charity shop. And this is another pub. Not as cheap as Brent, not as cheap as Weatherspoons, but not too dear as well for canvas. Quite expensive. Alright, walk down this way. 
That's the old Smith's gun shop. That's why the original gun's up there still. That used to be the gun shop. And you got a Chinese right there. Chinese restaurant. And that's what, and that's what that cafe has obviously been there for quite some years, but Sunday it's closed. So, but I think there's about three or four cafes down Fistil Road now, and some state agencies and some jewelry shops and oh, some pubs. Uh, so there's a bit of everything down here, really. Uh, quite amazing what we've got. So, uh, uh, down here, see a bit more, but not a lot more. And you see a bit there as well, another charity shop. So, we open Monday to Saturdays. And if you look that way, you see Argos. Sadly, it's still closed. Do not know it's there when we open. Another post office, some barbers, some chip shop. Um, across over the road. And basically, it's near the end now. As you can see, you can probably tell that I'm coming back on myself. Uh, this is another restaurant, it's got bits of everything I think. It used to be a billy billy, but an Asian world thing. A couple of pubs down there, well one, and obviously it does pizzas now. Now we are to coming back up, and we are done. We have, and then, uh, as you can see, and we're basically done. Well, that's most of the high street in the town done on the things. I've missed a little bit here and there, so give you all the spies. So that's the shops and restaurants done. I'm now resting, having a pint of Coke in uh, Mugden's, £1.89. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And there will be more photos, because I've still got photos. I mean, there will be more videos. And I will be still doing the ledger part of Maidstone. What? Not really, quite not. But it's a Sunday, and them sort of things are not open. So, uh, see you soon. Au revoir for now.